thing. Hello, Lior. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Mendy, is that you? That's me. Hello. hello. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. How have you been? Fantastic. So great. Awesome. So I'm glad to be here. This is my first Q&A session that I've gotten to join with you. Awesome. So Welcome. happy to be here. So we were actually looking to try to email some of our vendors. Um, we know that there is a vendors module within the CRM. Um, yeah. We were looking okay. to, we had like custom templates created. Um, and I'm curious to see, can you click in once inside of one of your vendor profiles to see if you have different options? Okay, no. So we, we created these templates that we want to send to our vendors. Mm -hmm. um, and I noticed up here, there's not a send email button like the contacts module or the leads module has. I, I had contacted support just to see if this was something. I mean, first I tried to implement our own button, uh, but I contacted them to see if it's something easy to, you know, that they could help us with. And they were telling me that it's not possible to have a standard send email. Instead, you have to have like they can add a button, but it's going to send only one set template. Let me explain. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's make it like that. Okay. So that will be, and that's a great question. So you have two areas that you have people. One second. Okay. And let's try to make it a bit bigger. Is that clear, this drawer? Can you Is see that, okay? Yes, I can see it. Okay, awesome. So we have people. And people can get email, SMS, etc. Because those are people. From the other side, you have legal entities. And those will be accounts and vendors. Okay. Now, <coughs> account or a vendor, it's a legal entity. It's like Pelazio. I can't really email Pelazio. I can email Mendy mm -hmm. or Amin, but I can't email Pelazio because it's a legal entity. Mm. The way that it works, you will have. bubbles anyway let's assume that okay good so you can have basically an account named Pelagio and under the account you can have Mendy and Amin or you can have a vendor and under the vendor you will have Mendy and Amin so the idea is that both of those are legal entities you can't really send to a vendor you can send to a contact that works at the vendor location. Okay. Is that making sense? Yes. The way to do it is when you have a contact, you will have a contact type. I don't know if I have it here. It says that there is a type. I just can't see it. So let's try to do it together. And it's a beautiful question because lots of people are, are confused about it. Mm -hmm. And when they talk to Zoe support, Zoe support will say, no, no, it can't be done. But they don't explain why it right. can't be done. And that's, that's really the problem around it. So I will create here a new pick list, which is vendor type. I will have customer, I will have a vendor. And if you want referral and you can have more, as many as you want. And when you have uh, people that are vendors, you will select the contact type as a vendor. So let's say that Joe 
is a vendor. I will select him as a vendor here. And also in the vendor name, I will select his company, which is target. I see. Okay, so this legal entity, if I click on it, you can see on the left side that you have one employee under this vendor, the same way that you will have under accounts. You can have an account and under the account, you can have multiple contacts. People, okay. You can, that's right. Now, so, question about this. So yes. essentially, if can you go into the CRM and go into the settings as if you were gonna build an email template? Sure. Because I believe that you can build email templates in the vendors module. Yes, you can. So how would we, if we built a template like that, how would we be able to send, to send that? So to say, we'd have to go into the, the, like the client module to send or. I will show you. So from here, I think you will have email, one second. Or maybe not. On your desk. I guess that's Using why I was confused because they allow you to create email templates for the vendors module, but how do you send it? to them so usually on the left side you will have the emails that's in the account uh, or maybe not in the accounts in the bills but let me see uh, share. okay so you can go to print preview it will be a little bit but we'll see if we can do that and email templates and it allows me only to print it as a PDF or HTML. Mm, okay. With, with Deluge, for sure you can, but in any case, it's wrong. It's not supposed to be like that. The leads and, and contacts, those are the only one that you're supposed to send, to send emails to. Okay. Not really to vendors and accounts, because those are just legal entities, LG, Coca-Cola, right? I see. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's really the story behind why wow. you can't do it. Yes. Okay. And I think it's, it's necessary to know the story. It, for sure. Yeah. Cause I was confused on why it couldn't be done, but this, this makes a lot of sense. So thank you for explaining that. Um, no question for you within our company, uh, as you know, we, we use vendors, you know, every weekend, we, it's kind of important that we get their confirmations. We have things sent to them. Would you recommend do, like building a custom module for vendors only for our case? Or would that be too complicated and something you don't recommend? So what is the use case exactly? Honestly, it would just be... I mean, there's another conversation that goes into this on if this would be synced with books, because that is currently something that we have synced. I know that that would be something that we'd have to probably terminate, but the use for the CRM side of things would be primarily emails and communications with them. Uh, we don't, you know, in our industry, we, we don't, we kind of use the co client or contact module as just clients and, and keep it with just events. So it would be a little bit confusing to put our vendors into like the contact people for our vendors into that section. So I'm just wondering if building another module would even be beneficial or what your input is on that. I don't think it will save you, but uh, no. let's try something. I think I have a custom module zero. I have a bunch of them. Yeah, 30 K. So let's go in. Um, I don't think that you will get your your button to send. Yeah, there is actually. Um, so if you create 
another module for vendors. Probably the only limitations that I can see, and let me try to create a template for it. I just want to give you a good answer that it's for sure. So great referrals. Created this template. Okay. Try to send an email. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. The only downside that you will have is uh, if you have um, extensions such as SMS, natively they will not connect to the module the same way that it will connect to the contacts. But I think that you're using anyway, you're sending text messages using webhook, right? Uh, yes, to our clients. I don't know that we would necessarily okay. need that for vendors. So I think... Again, I think you're fine with creating another module. I personally don't like to create people outside of the leads and contacts because sometimes you will have third party uh, extensions that will not work on people that are outside of the contacts and the leads. Okay. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Sometimes you need to be creative with, with the solutions. Yeah, depending on what the use is. So, okay, that makes sense. Well, thank you so much for talking me through that and kind of showing around the custom modules. No problem. And one more thing that I, I may suggest. So let's say that you have, you know, 10,000 contacts, just throwing a number. You know that right now, all of those people, 100% of them, they are uh, customers. So you can create a view mm -hmm. that will be all our customers. And when you select the view, you will get here another option that will say, select all the contacts in the view. And that will select all the 10,000. And then you go to mess update and you change the, the, the contact type to customer. So right now, all of them will be customers and the new ones that you will add, you will have the selection if it's a vendor or a customer. And then you can work with your contacts model. Okay. Just, yeah, just an idea, right? Sure. I don't know what, what's more involved because maybe you have more use cases, but again, a few options for you to choose from. Sounds good. I appreciate that. No problem. I think that was my only question at this time. No problem.